reincarnation of domination. So the Incarnation of Domination live here on YouTube brought to you by Zavi. Every week, a Patreon Heart Foundation member chooses a superstar and Mark surprises us with that superstar. And then we go through Google, find our favorite versions of that superstar. Who do we got? All right. I got uh, this is a suggestion by Bryce Carlisle. I believe he's very topical right now because... He's a man. Oh, we've, we've never done What that, so. a man. Your lordship. A He's a real man. Most he made out with live on Monday Night Raw. Uh, yeah, William Regal. <laughs> we could, D. Friedman can put that clip in right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, first, I don't even have to Google this. WCW, San Francisco Toy Makers, Blue uh, Bloods. Course. Lord Stephen Regal, mm-hmm. which I, I even when that came out, that line was like dead. This is like the last breath. The last I didn't get it. Breath of really? Oh, it was. I a, didn't get it. I for some reason was getting those like um, catalogs in the mail, so I like knew about it. I, was I knew excited. about. It. I just think it's a figures toy company, wrestling superstar. Yeah, it's a figures. Right? It's yes. Yeah, Before FTC toy sucked. Toy. Yeah, but there was there was four two packs. Three of them were just lousy repaints that don't even matter and Mm -hmm. then the one exclusive regal and uh bobby eaton which was super pumped i always thought it was weird though regal's like really really big so huge and bobby eaton's like not that big at all or i don't know so i don't know if even if regal's big and he's small or i don't know but it definitely was strange but i was glad to have them because that line i enjoyed that line when i was a kid and that line died so are you sure we've never done regal oh i think we have but we're this is Timely, and it's for YouTube. It's definitely timely. Um, he doesn't get another figure until Tintron, Rulers of the Ring. That's which crazy. Is such years. a good figure. Is that like five years all, right? later? I think the real scan technology that Jax used is way better than whatever Mattel does these days. Because Mattel, uh, Mattel it's, does it's scan. A, it's a deb- debatable argument for sure. I think sometimes that ink printing really sucks make, it sucks it makes the figure look terrible or it makes the figure look incredible so i do think we somehow with all these retro companies now these with AEW might not be able to happen a real man's man regal i wish mattel would have done it they like slept on that they Honestly, had all they, the time they, in the world they got out they've been getting out the random gimmicks now lagoon and shark yes. and all the stuff that for sure it would it would work it would fit in um, I would love to know. I'm sure, like top shelf Troy knows how many man's man regal appearances were there. Even it had to be under five. I'll get a good follow up for you for us next. I, week. I know he. I know he does. Uh, what Survivor Series '98? And that's yes, like it. Yes, that's like it. Yeah. Um. So that that same Titantron regal that rules the ring when that comes out. There's also it's in the draft, but with no pads. Yes. Which yeah. sucks. Whole thing sucks. There's uh, the uh, two pack where he's in the suit. You need that one. That's like I a love. commission. That's a I loved. That was, right? that, was, that was a big part of my uh, fig fed when I was a kid because you needed that all sure. Because like, he was the commissioner character, you know. There is also like a backlash Titan Tron in the suit, but that's years later. Yes. And years less later. detailed and kind of crappy. Oh, it's like no detail. Yeah. Um, but then, like the ruthless aggression. I mean, he's got a bunch, tons. What's the, the black, f- the black eye one? <laughs> just now, correct me if I'm wrong. Does Regal like go away for a while? Why is there such a gap? Why does he have nothing for so long? In what? what, what In are WWE, you like the ruthless aggression style figures hit, but he doesn't get a figure to like deep in the line. Mm. He never like, goes away, does he? What, what is his first? What is his first ruthless figure? That's what I'm. Isn't it like the two? It's not the two pack with Tajiri, but it's got it's a two pack, is it not? I don't. Man, this is weird that I'm stumped on this. It's not the he virtual like, two pack, is it? No. It no, because that's like that's way later. We were in like deep south when that came out. 
So he has the, the, the pack with Tajiri, but what is the first? You're right. What is the first? Oh, he also, sorry, let's back you a little bit. The Titantrons, he does have a Royal Rumble Titantron. And with he the has different, the, different the, the black trunks with the like maroon yes, detailing. Yes, the yeah. champion. And then he yeah. has, uh, I think, I forget what one it's called, where he's got the brass knucks painted on. That's in that set. The three pack. Yes, it's in a three pack. Yeah. Um, I think his first Ruthless, I'm looking right here, is Ruthless 13. Red tights. Yeah, I guess. And he's just in red plain boots. red tights, right? That's, yeah. I, I don't 13. think he ever really goes away. He's like, he tags with Tajiri, and then he tags with Eugene. But why, why so long? I don't know. I'm looking right here. This ruthless aggression. I'm sorry, adrenaline twenty. It's regal, very similar to that uh, thirteen. And he's got he's got paired up with Paul Burchill, the pilot. Yes, yes. But that he's got that, the, that that I think you're right. That thirteen is the first one. But that's still pretty right. It's pretty deep. Deep. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I'm looking. I, I I love like the one. It's around the time when we get called up the main roster where they kind of change the body to like the old man body. Yes, I'm looking right now. That is Pur- purple uh, trunks. 26. Yeah, purple trunks. That, I, I believe thought that's that was the first one with the arm tattoo. More accurate, yeah. He's also got the, the, the UK. Is it a UK exclusive or is it just? That's, that's the black eye one I was talking the about. The black eye one. He's got the, the black the eye. Naughty, and he's got, the he comes flag. with the Union Jack flag, yeah. That's a good one. And and a lot of figures. Have, he does have the two pack with Tajiri where he's in like street clothes. That's another one where he's like almost like the commissioner looking yes. character. Uh, let's not forget this this one. At the time, it's fucking rotten. Now, in retrospect, it kind of makes sense. Classic superstars, British Bulldog and William Regal, because they used a modern day Regal at the time. Yeah, which you know what I'm saying? Yeah, which not cool. Doesn't make any sense. Now it's like sense. you said. Now it's fine because it is everything's classic. Everything's about classic, it, but, right? Yeah. Um, that three pack was called Brass Revenge. It's Regal, RVD, and edge yep um i'm also looking he's got some uh deluxe aggressions i'm looking right here we got a deluxe aggression the the micro aggression is that what it's called no i'm sorry yep. the build and brawl or is it yeah he's a, a build, aggression? is a build and brawl for sure the build and brawl might be the first one with the crazy hair i think that's the only jacks with the crazy hair but the first i mean he's all his patels have been, been right the, the, the only hair, jacks though with the crazy hair yeah i think i think pretty sure um, and then we get the Mattels where he, he has the crazy hair. Um, yeah, and that's like basic four, right? In the plain black trunks. Then he's the elite eight with the robe, which is like really his only his only stuff. And then uh, he gets the, the flashback, which I love. The Lord that's C. a great Regal, blue which, blood. Well, that thing like clogged the shells, man. Like nobody seemed to want that, but I thought that was a great figure. Uh, we we recently didn't we recently see it? We found <laughs> it. We found it in Alaska. Oh, that's what it was. Oh my god! But that's that has to be like five or six years. That's been on the pegs and yeah. this target in Alaska. And and they never wow. made an NXT War Games Regal. I know, right? You would. I, I mean, obviously, if NXT, the line, you know, the singular line that was for NXT continued. I'm sure. Sometimes yeah, they, really some easy. of the, the the characters that Mattel just skips scratch like it's a, a head scratcher for me. Yeah, can all like be home pretty, runs, man. Sure, but he was pretty prominent. Build a figure, Regal, something. Yeah, uh, and it's unfortunate now he's in AEW. We won't get uh, the real man's man, Regal, but we'll probably get an AEW Regal. Sure, they could even do like a, another classic to it in you know, some way. Uh, maybe. Uh, what do they call those? What do they always talk? The British like camp show shows. <laughs> yeah, te- Maybe we'll get pounds. a camp show regal. Yeah. <laughs> a- NXT right. uh, Redemption Regal, or yeah, me, me and Rex feuded with him. Mm. Oh yeah. Um, <sighs> all right. Yeah, super cool dude. Always cool to me. Interested to see what he's going to do you, in AEW. You, so you kissed him on Monday Night Raw, and Free- D. Freedom can put this clip in right here. I'm not ashamed of it. What's our favorite one? <laughs> Favorite, favorite regal one. i think i'm gonna go with uh the mattel flashback lord steven regal yeah it's me too pretty like perfect but i don't know yeah. why it didn't sell or why it didn't move very well but that's a great know. figure mine is the rulers of the ring that that whole set when it came out was a killer set yeah all right cool all 
All right, so Zavi, our newest sponsor. I consider them a partner. Yeah. Um, it's a site that I go to, Mark goes to. I'm sure Brian's going to start going to. And, uh, I, Mackenzie I actually wants go to more a stuff. lot with, McKen- with McKenzie because, I mean, they have wrestling stuff, so that's for me. But anything pop culture, you know, she's into Power Rangers now. Anything. I searched Power Rangers. I couldn't believe how much stuff came up. I was like, whoa. Right. Yeah. Bro, anything pop culture, whether it be figures, household items, clothing, sneakers, uh, steelbook, so much stuff. Use promo code MAJORPOD. It'll give you 10% off merch, uh, excluding pre-order, sorry. 20% off clothing and 10% off full price Lego. So if you're a Lego guy, you get They actually have a that's lot of amazing. Legos. That, that's another thing McKenzie's been into lately, so we've been getting them there as well. I'm blown away by the stuff that they have that you don't even normally think about. Back to the Future shoes. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. They have that, that really cool Ghostbusters jacket. There's I wear that all the so time. Cool Bomber jackets. Stuff. And we're working with them for some exclusive merch. Too. Also, tons of Star Wars things on there. I love it. If you love Star Wars. So check them out. Zavi, that's Z-A-V-V-I dot com.